Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will discuss the most awaited tool of the Inkscape, the Shape Builder tool. The tool here after the Node tool is the Shape Builder tool. You can also select it via the shortcut key X. Shape Builder tool is a very powerful tool for making complex designs out of existing simple or complex shapes. It is used to add and subtract closed paths with a simple click and drag. Like other tools, it will not open directly. To open this tool, it is important to first select all shapes that you want to edit, and then select the Shape Builder tool. It will show all closed paths in gray color, and when you hover over them, it will highlight each shape, like this. Let's talk about how the Shape Builder tool works. By default, the tool is in Add mode. When you hover over a selection, you'll see that each shape is highlighted in blue. This blue color indicates that the Shape Builder tool is in Add mode. If you look at the cursor, you'll see a plus sign, which also indicates that the tool is in Add mode. In Add mode, there are two main functions you can perform. The first is to extract specific shapes from the selection. For example, if you only want to keep these three shapes, simply click on each shape you want to keep. As you click, the shape fill color will change to blue, indicating that they have been extracted from the selection. When happy with your selection, click this tick icon or press enter key, and you will get the selected shapes, like this. The second function you can perform in this mode is to union the shapes together by click and dragging. For example, we want to make this shape from these. For this, first select them, and open the Shape Builder tool. Now, click and drag over the shapes to union them, like this. You can union as many shapes as you want to make a new design as per your need. The second mode is the Delete mode. When you select it, and hover over the selection, you will see now each shape is highlighted in pink color, and the cursor's plus sign is also changed to minus. This indicates that the Shape Builder tool is in Delete mode. This mode is similar to Add mode except instead of adding it will delete the shape. For example, we want to delete these three shapes. So for this, simply click on each shape you want to delete, and it will be deleted. Similarly, you can delete multiple adjacent shapes with click and drag, like this. And, when happy with your selection, click this tick icon or press Enter key, and you will get the desired shapes. Or in case you want to cancel the changes you made, then click this cross icon or press the escape key, and it will come back to original shape. You can also switch between both add and delete modes with the shift key. When in add mode, hold the shift key, and it will switch to the delete mode, like this. As long as the shift key is held, it will work in delete mode, and on releasing it will come back to add mode. Similarly, if you have selected the delete mode, then you can switch to add mode by using the shift key in the same way. That was all for this video. If you have any queries, feel free to write in the comments section or contact us on our website, its link is in the description. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.